Roxanne Building 501 West 7th Street has been officially shut down. Take a look at this right behind me. You can actually see it was just locked literally about 20 minutes ago. Now, this is a heartbreaking situation. That's the way we can describe this. As you mentioned, Roxanne, a lot of people impacted by this. And all I can tell you is that a lot of people right now are feeling that pain of having to leave their home where they've been for so many years. I'm here with Carmen, he's telling me he's been in this building for 17 years, five kids, cinco hijos, yeah. no? Five kids, his wife, and an entire life yeah. in there, toda una vida. 17 years living here. Uh, What's deep in your heart right now, dentro su corazón? What's going on? No tengo palabras para decir ahorita porque... He has no words to describe how he's feeling. Para dónde va esta noche? Where are you going tonight? Uh, esta noche yo voy a vivir con, con mi cuñado en la sala, un ladito. So he's going to stay uh, in someone's living room, uh, at a close family member um, living room with his five kids. Cuando usted vio esa puerta cerrar, when you saw that door, that main door that you walked there for 17 years through that building, when you saw that door close, cuando vio esa puerta cerrar, ¿qué estaba en su mente? What was going on in your mind? No tengo cabeza para decir. He me cannot even lo, process what's happening. Dio lo mucho el corazón. His heart, it's broken. That's literally what he tells me. There's a big pain there. <laughs> Everything is going to be okay. Durante, Todo va a estar bien. Durante los 17 años, año con año pintaba mi apartamento. Throughout the 17 years, every year he will paint his apartment. Cambié el piso de mi cocina. Changed the floor. He made sure that apartment was as beautiful as he could. Cambié la, la, el baño. Tengo nevera propia. Este, he bought propia. so many things for himself. Estuvo Carmen. Carmen. Everything is going to be okay. We have officials from the city of Plainfield, and they are wanting to make sure that all these tenants have a place to stay tonight. That's Plainfield High School. Yes. Just walk me through it. We do have so many buses here, but residents do not want to get on that bus to go to the high school. That's correct. Right now we're having a, some trouble getting the residents on, but I want to be very clear. We are not asking immigration status. We are not asking any for any ID. We are not asking for any proof of residency. We are not asking for anything. We have a safe place for them to come. Shelter, hot meals, showers. We're going to stay open as long as we need to stay open. The state will be at the site tomorrow to offer a more permanent solution, laundry. Um, we have, for the kids, we got movies, TV, ice cream. We, this is a much safer spot than they were in here. So the message is to go there and not to stay outside because so many residents are opting to stay outside. Let me just get your name, please, and your title here within yes. the city of Plainfield. Abby Levinson, business administrator for the city. Thank you. I'm going to send it back to you guys in studio, and we'll be right back with more during our later newscast.